Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be an update to my Project Wax, which is basically my candle project pan where I'm trying to use up my candles. So I have quite a few empties over here. I've got some updates and some new candles to bring in. So very excited to show you guys. And we've got our partner here, Mr. Kai, and he's just chilling inside. Oh my God, he's so cute. Okay, let's get it right into it with the empties. So I finished off five candles in the last month. Yeah, I know. So the first one that I have here is PB&J ice cream. So this one was honestly nothing special to me. Um, the notes were raspberry jelly, vanilla ice cream, peanut butter sauce. I only got the raspberry and that wasn't that great. And it got really murky. It just wasn't my favorite. It was really just a raspberry scent. I wish it would have been more like what PB&J donut did smell like, which I actually never had that one, but I heard it didn't smell like it because it didn't have any peanut butter to me. So that's PB&J ice cream, finish it up. Oh, here's my progress lines. Went from here to here and then finish it up. Also finished my beloved Cinnamon Spice Vanilla in Paris Cafe. So sad to see this one go. Um, it was up here last time I updated you guys. I probably burned it once and then it was finished. So yeah, this one was really amazing. I love this scent. If I ever find it again or if they ever bring it out again, I would definitely get it. And then we've got Goosebumps Cupcake from Goose Creek. This one was a super heavy gourmand raspberry chocolate cupcake. It was very heavy and it got really murky near the end. So I was just trying to get through it. I feel like this is just not my vibe. I think I don't like berry gourmands besides strawberry pound cake. I just don't think I like it in candles cause it just gets so murky and like smells gross. So yeah, not my favorite, but it did burn pretty well. Um, just near the end, it got kind of like sooty. And then we have Santorini Coast from Bath and Body Works. This was amazing. I loved it so much. I burned it all the way down, had an amazing scent on it. Here's my progress lines from here to here. The notes are creamy coconut, almond blossom, and warm vanilla. Just honestly, my one of my favorites, I think. I think I'm gonna pick up a few at um, SAS, and SAS has probably already started, and I've probably already posted a haul, so check out my haul to see if I got another one of these, but I'm hoping to get another one of these because it was really good, just super sophisticated coconut. And the last empty that I have is Mahogany Apple. This one was really good, just like a nice fresh air scent. Um, progress went from here to here to here and then finish it off. Burned super well. Honestly, I've never really had a problem with Bath & Body Works single wicks. So I really enjoyed this one. It was nice to have in our office slash gaming room and I really enjoyed it. Okay, next I actually have to move because I have champagne toast currently burning. So once it's not burning again, I will insert footage of the candle, but I did burn it a few times in the last month. So I'm expecting a little bit of a um, dent in the progress on that one. But yeah, I'm really loving champagne toast. Just a super simple bubbly and fruity kind of scent and I really enjoy it. Next one I have progress on is pink petal tea cake. I've actually been loving this in the bedroom. So we've gone from here to here and I burn this one like in the mornings when I'm getting ready or on the weekends. And it's so nice. It just makes me feel all girly and stuff. I don't know, I love, I'm liking it a lot. A lot more than I liked it last year, so I'm really enjoying this one. And then we have a mahogany teak wood, which I'm not really working on. I melted it once, and you can see there's a little bitty line. I Yeah, I burned it once. I really have not had a reason to burn this. Um, so yeah, I'm focusing on a lot of other scents right now. I'm still gonna leave it in because I feel like we're gonna want it sometimes, but it's not my focus candle right now. The next one that I have some progress on is buttery popcorn. I've actually been really loving this one. So this is what it looks like. This was from last summer. But anyways, the notes are melted butter, fresh popcorn, and a sprinkle of sea salt. So I got from here to here. I burned it, I know, exactly twice. Um, and I really liked it. It was awesome for game nights. Um, I just started playing uh, Disney's Dreamlight Valley. So we had a few namely two game nights, Ryan and I, and I burned this for both of them and it was really interesting. I liked it a lot. So yeah, this has become our game night kind of candle and I assume it will be our movie night candle, but we haven't really been watching movies. We've actually been um, trying to start a K-drama. So let me know down below if you have a K-drama that we should start next. 
We just finished Hometown Cha Cha Cha, which is so, it was so cute. I loved that one. Um, and we're starting uh, What's Wrong with Secretary Kim. So if you have any other suggestions that are like that, that are not too depressing because sometimes they get very sad and tragic backstories and it makes me cry. And I don't wanna cry when I watch this. I wanna giggle and laugh and like fangirl over them touching hands. <laughs> like that's the most romantic thing that happens. But anyways, yeah, loving buttery popcorn. Just had to rant a little bit about K-dramas. Next one, I actually have no progress on. This is Tiki Beach. I have not gotten it out this month because I will show you a few of these other ones I've been turning to more. So I'm definitely gonna get through this one um, during the summer. I'm very excited to burn it and test it out, but it is warm vanilla musk, orchids, and toasted coconut. So I'm really excited for this one. I think it's gonna be more of a July, August scent though, but I will plan to burn this at least once in July. So we'll see if I can get that done. Okay, so I got through four full-size candles and one single wick last month. So I am putting in four full-size candles. I'm so excited, okay. So we're gonna start with this stack because these two candles, I'm assuming are really close to the exact same scent. So this is Berry Trifle from Homeworks and Red, White and Blue Cake from Bath and Body Works. And yeah, they smell really similar. So I've actually been loving Berry Trifle. I got this, um, I got this candle, I think at the beginning of May, they had some sort of like gourmand sale and it was all for a really good deal. So I got this one sometime in May. Um, and I'm already halfway through it. I've been obsessed. It is so good. It really smells exactly like the picture. It smells just like a berry cake. It smells so good. The notes are wild blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, vanilla pound cake, and grand marinier sauce, marinier sauce. I don't know how to say that, but it's that, I assume it's this red sauce. So it smells amazing. This is the perfect, like this is what I imagine a dessert at a summer picnic is, or summer barbecue. This is the dessert. It smells so good. So I'm hoping that after I finish that off, I will start red, white, and blue cake and it'll be kind of the same thing. So the notes on this are red raspberries, ripe blueberries, whipped vanilla cream, and soft white cake. They smell pretty similar on cold, but I have not burned red, white, and blue cake, so I don't know for sure, but I am excited to use this one, try it out, and I expect to be using it around the 4th of July. I will actually be on vacation on the 4th of July, so not the date of, but I hope to use this around 4th of July. So yeah, it's super cute packaging too. I'm obsessed, that's adorable. Next one that I'm putting in is Unicorn Sprinkles from Bath & Body Works. I picked this one up at the winter semi-annual sale. The notes are fluffy cotton candy, rainbow candy drops, and sugared lemon. It's like a super bright, um, candied berry scent. It smells amazing. So I'm very excited to burn this one. I feel like it'd be a great replacement after I'm done with champagne toast for something like bubbly and fruity. So I think that's gonna be the perfect vibe for the summertime. And I'm just excited to try it because I've heard great things about unicorn sprinkles and I'm ready to try it out for myself. Oh, and it is unburned. I have not even cut the wicks yet. And the last one that I'm putting into the project is Coconut Cake from Homeworks. This one looks amazing on the outside. It smells great on the inside too. The notes are toasted coconut, coconut milk, whipped cream, buttercream frosting, baked cake, and pecan. So many notes. And I have burned this maybe twice already. So we are right here on the packaging, basically underneath the icing of the cake. And it smells really good. Honestly, for the first couple of hours that it's burning, I don't smell it at all. But if I leave the room and I come back in, then I totally smell it and it's super strong. Even Ryan complimented the house when I got home or when he got home from work one day and this was burning, he was like, it smells so good in here. I was like, thank you Homeworks because it does smell good. So I'm really enjoying this one. It smells like a coconut cake to me. It's very gourmand. So. I'm enjoying this a lot and I think it's the perfect time of year to use it. So that's also going in the project. So right now I have seven candles in the project and hoping to keep finishing up as many as I have been, which is about three to four candles every single month, which is great progress for myself because I love buying candles and I know that I'm gonna, you know, restock during semi-annual sales. So I probably should get my collection a little more under control, 
But yeah, that's everything for this video. Let me know down below what candles are you burning right now? What are your go-to summer candles? Because I'm venturing out this year. We're seeing what's new. We're seeing what's gonna work, what's not gonna work. So just having a good time trying out fun fragrances. I feel like, I don't know, this summer is so much fun with fragrance for me. So I'm having a great time. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.